I have only one question uh, to be discussed. So which of these is not an advantage of ketamine? There are lots of versions of these questions. Uh, if this is the exact question, then A, used as an induction agent, yes. B, helps in the action of opioids, yes. So ketamine has an analgesic effect. So it also helps whenever you want to use it along with opioids to reduce the use of opioids as an analgesia, okay? Option C causes dissociative anesthesia. Now, this is not an advantage of ketamine. Dissociative anesthesia means the patient goes into a trance-like state. He feels disconnected from his body. Body and soul feel different. So, this cannot be an advantage. In fact, it scares people to be in that state. So, I would mark that as the answer. And option C reduces tolerance to opioids. So, a lot of people are saying this is the answer, but that's not correct. Why? Because in chronic pain, when people have been taking opioids for a long period of time, at that time, if you want to reduce the dosage of opioids or the use of opioids, what we do is we give them sub-anesthetic doses of ketamine. Now, what happens is that this opioid tolerance causes increase in the num number of NMDA receptors. Okay. And as we know, ketamine is a block blocker of NMDA receptors. So, this upregulation of NMDA receptors can be taken care of by giving something which antagonizes them that is ketamine. So, in chronic pain, we do use ketamine to reduce the tolerance of opioids. So, the answer over here is C causes dissociative anesthesia. There was a block, greater palatine nerve block, but that is not given by anesthetist. It is given by ENT people and Dr. Pranith has discussed that. It is used for palatal surgeries under local anesthesia. So, that uh, has already been covered in ENT. So, this was the only question from anesthesia. Thank you so much.